everybody, my name is Mocked and welcome to this brand new video on how to set up your desktop for some Android hacking, bug bounty, whatever you wanna do with it. In this video, we're gonna learn how to root an Android emulator in Android Studio and we're gonna be able to set up Frida on that emulator. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we got Android Studio booted up, we're gonna create a new device. So I'm gonna create uh, a Pixel 3a, API 29, like I have here. I'm gonna create another one because I already have this one set up. So we're gonna go to create device. We're gonna go to phone. I like the Pixel 3a personally. Pixel 3a, next. And then we're gonna go to Q29, gonna hit next. Name it. <clears throat> and now you can just name it whatever you want. So we'll do uh, Pixel 3a, whatever. Bam, we got that going. So now what we can do is we're gonna run it and we're gonna see what our privileges are, see if we could run root, see what errors we get, see what's going on here. So now that we got the device all booted up and ready to go, we're gonna open up a terminal and we're gonna go ahead and see what's going on with this device. So in order to do that, we're gonna do ADB shell. All right, cool, we have shell. It'd be shell su permission denied. Okay, so uh, super user privileges, we do not have that. So now what we have to do is we have to root the device in order to get super user in order to then install Frida on the phone so we can do some crazy cool stuff. So now we go on to an awesome tool called Root AVD. Now you're gonna wanna download this. You can use Git, you can just download it straight from the code on GitHub, download a zip. By any means, just get it on your system. And then you're gonna CD into that directory. And once you're in this directory, you're gonna do this following command. You're gonna do the period, you're gonna do the forward slash root avd.sh space list all avds, hit enter. So now here, what we're gonna be doing is we have Android 34, 33. We're gonna to try to find 29, which we have right here. We're gonna copy it. And then we're gonna paste it. And then we're gonna wait. All right, it looks like it's done. So now we go back to the phone. See if Magisk has been, oh. All right, so after you do that command, it's gonna do this weird thing where it's gonna have no running devices, but it's gonna say that it's running, which is kind of weird. So the way that I've um, got around this in the past is I just completely restarted my computer. Um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, so now that I've restarted my computer, we can start up the device and see if Magisk is installed. So we just flip this up and hey, Magisk is installed. So now when we go into it, it is going to ask us additional setup, just click okay. The device is gonna restart again, reboot, and then after that, you should be pretty much good to go. All right, so the device rebooted. We'll go back into it, make sure it doesn't need any more configuration or anything like that. Good, good. Well, the super user here is blank. So what we'll do is we'll boot up a terminal, new window, get that in here, and we'll just do an ADB shell SU, and we'll get prompted here. Click grant forever. Bam, so now our terminal will have super user privileges. And this is exactly what we want because we need super user privileges in order to then install the Frida server on the device. So all you have to do is go to the Frida main page, uh, click down here for Android tutorials, and then it'll tell you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do, well, how to install Frida. So what we'll do here, first things first, we have to download the latest Frida server point blank from the release page. So we'll go over here, go to the release page. So we're looking for the server. So we'll go ahead and do a search for server. And here's exactly what we want. So depending on your system, you're gonna choose something completely different. I have already have downloaded the proper free to server for my device, which is the ARM64. So ARM64 version right here. This is the one that you want if you've been following along. All you then do is unzip it, and then we gotta push it to the actual device now using ADB. So if we switch back to the directions, all we have to do 
is we got to push the Frida server to the local temp, and then we got to do a chmod on it. chmod. And then all we have to do is run the server, and then we should be good to go. So it's important to note that after you unzip the file, go ahead and just rename it just Frida-server, just to keep it super simple and, and easy to find. So we're going to go ahead and push it, the Frida server, from wherever I have it downloaded, my downloads folder. Done. Great. So now, going to go ahead and do a chmod as well. Just copy paste from the direct, just copy paste these directions and you'll be fine. Great. See, we're good. And now we can start it. However, it is, it is important to note that if you do an ADB root, we get a cannot root in production builds. So we see this little note down here about production builds saying that if you run into this error, error saying that if you run into this error using ADB root, you need the su-c prefix on all of your ADB shell commands in order for this to actually work. So keep that in mind. So if we actually have to redo the chmod command with this chmod command, just to ensure that everything works perfectly. So we got that in there, no problems. And now we're gonna run the Frida server itself. In order to do that, now remember, we need the su-c little command thing in, the, in there, in the quotes with it, in order for it to work. So we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the su-c in there, su-c space, and when we hit enter, this is exactly what we should be seeing in our terminal right now. It's just nothing. It's just the little, the little block thing. Nothing's going on. That's how you know the Frida server is in fact running. So hooray! We installed Frida on the device. We rooted the device. We did all of the things, except we have to make sure that now we have Frida on our actual laptop PC machine. The installation is pretty self-explanatory. You'll do a pip install Frida tools and that's, and that's it. That's all you need. I'm not going to do those pip commands because I already have it. And I don't, I don't, I don't want to mess anything up on my, on my system. So now if you do want to do a quick smoke test right here, the Frida-ps-u command in your terminal, go ahead, give that a try. Bam, bam. If you're seeing all this stuff right here, logcat, all this all of this stuff, um, then it worked. You have Frida. You'll be able to follow along in the next video where we use Frida to do some really cool stuff. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see any additional content, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Take care.